I doing her justice? <laughs> I don't know how she is able to keep her eyes open. I'm trying. <laughs> hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, guys, I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but we are going to be reviewing the new Jacqueline Cosmetics Hot Topic Collection. Now, I need to preface this and say, this was not sent to me in PR. One of my closest, most beautiful, sweetest friends, Miss Paige Corn, actually let me borrow this for this video so that I can see if I'll buy it, if I won't buy it, what I will or not get. She was so kind to let me borrow this for this video so I can really try out the products before it launches to see what it's really all about and is it worth the buy? So if you guys wanna see my thoughts on this, how I finish off this look, cause right now I look pretty pale and pasty, well then definitely keep on watching. Paige, I love you so much. Thank you so much for letting me borrow this. and. This is the first time that I have ever seen a Jacqueline Cosmetics PR box. Like I know Paige gets her PR, but this is the first time I've ever seen it in person because I haven't gone over to her place since she's been getting Jacqueline PR. Wait, wait, no, have I? You know, no, I don't know. I actually don't know actually, but uh, I'm so excited. She was so sweet enough to let me borrow this and I cannot thank Paige enough. Thank you so much. This is just so freaking insane that I'm actually holding like a Jacqueline Cosmetics PR kit. Like what is life right now? This is just so insane. First off, this is actually quite heavy, which I'm really surprised about like how heavy it is. But I think the packaging is so freaking beautiful. Now, this actually launches July 13th, which is going to be tomorrow at 11 a.m. AM Pacific Standard Time, which would be 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, this is a very, very limited collection to Jacqueline Cosmetics. This will not be an Ulta at all. However, she did state that this entire collection will be available at the Morphe website at the very end of the month. So I don't know the exact dates on that. I do think it's cool she's actually bringing one of her products to the Morphe, to Morphe. So I think that's actually really cool. I wonder if it's going to be in store or if it's going to be online only. Oh my God, that's a really good idea. I wonder if it'd be in store or online. I don't know, but I do think it's cool that she is actually launching this inside Morphe. It sucks that it's not on Ulta, but Morphe still does have Afterpay. So if you guys still wish to get your hands on this online, it does have Afterpay. So that is something to definitely take note of, but here we have the PR package and this is just so freaking crazy. <laughs> here we have the box. It's so freaking pretty. Oh my God, this is, oh my, is this what like, like an influencer feels like this is just insane because I am not an influence. Oh, <laughs> what is life right now? Look at how this looks. This is just so freaking beautiful. This is insane. Like this is what an actual influencer like experiences when they get a Jacqueline Cosmetics PR. Like I can seriously almost cry. It's pathetic. I can almost cry at this. <laughs> but here we have the entire collection right here. Now, I need to first off say that Jacqueline in this photo is just ungodly gorgeous. Like, what the heck? I, I kind of want to recreate this myself. <laughs> Will I be as stunning as her? <laughs> not even like one tenth of it. But if that's not inspiring, I don't know what is. And this is like a nice little PR card. It says, when I think of summer, it's all about the bronzed, highlighted, sun-kissed skin and glossy lips. So I'm bringing you just that. The formulas from this collection are luxe and elevated. Whether you prefer a minimum look or a full beat, these products will become part of your summer must-haves. I hope you love them as much as I do. XO. Jacqueline, God, Jacqueline, like truly she's a goddess. So here we have the entire Hot Topic collection. So in here, we do have four new highlighters. We have four glosses, five um, cream bronzers, and three of like, I wanna say like body highlights, even though they're not, they're like a liquid highlight. So I will go over everything. I will address the concerns when it comes to the cream bronzers and the lack thereof of the shade range. I will go over 
everything. But again, I just, I need to think Paige. This is just the coolest thing. And I cannot wait to put this face on because right now I'm only wearing foundation and concealer. I have not set my face with powder whatsoever. Like I am a very, very, very oily girl. So for me not to have my face set with setting powder now, is just like, I'm like itching to freaking do it, <laughs> but I haven't. So uh, I will say that the cream bronzers, truly do intimidate the hell out of me. So I'm not gonna ramble on too much longer. I'm just gonna go ahead and dive straight in because I'm excited. So the first things that we will go over is the lip oils. Now you guys know how much I am a gloss bitch. I've always been a gloss bitch my entire life. I love gloss with such a, with, with all my heart. I always have a liquid lip balm with a gloss on top. You guys never, ever, ever see me pretty much without a lip gloss on. So the fact that she's creating four different lip oils, I think is amazing because I love having a glossy lip. So, so on the website, it says that the Pout Drip Hydrating Lip Oil glides on easily for a voluptuous look with a sheer high shine and super gloss. Its cushiony formula is boosted with lip-loving antioxidants and emollients. The lips appear smoother and ready for summer, and these do retail for $20 a piece. Now, I know that Paige actually swatched all of these on her lips on her channel, so I'm not going to go ahead and swatch them just because... Um, she already did it and I already have my lips done and I don't want to like ruin it, but I will swatch these on my hand. We went ahead and we cleaned these just in case anyone like has any worries about germs or anything. We've already had and cleaned everything. This has no smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this on my hand, all four shades. So here are all four shades swatched on my hand. Now these are supposed to be very sheer with just a hint of color. But when I saw Paige swatching these on her lips on her video, you can definitely see some pigment shining through. But I saw that Jacqueline actually used like a liquid lip Be Brave and topped one of these toppers on top and it was freaking stunning. So that is what I'm gonna be doing later on today in the video. But I just wanted to show off the four lip oils right here. These are absolutely beautiful. Now I will say that the component of these it's a really thick applicator um like pretty much the size of my lip is the size of this applicator and it wasn't the easiest to kind of like stick it back in like you guys see this right here it kind of just wants to pop right back out at you so you do have to be a little forceful to shove it back in but i bet you the formula is truly amazing okay so next we do have these brand new highlighters now jacqueline is the queen of highlights and she said that these are supposed to be a very wet looking highlight kind of like when you're stepping on the ocean looking like the beautiful goddess that she is in that photo where you just look like a mermaid and like nasa can find you and just by you looking up at the sun and that beaming light just shoots up straight into space that is what she's going for so on the website it says that these are reflective light putty highlighters has a soft comfortable texture and is it and is designed with a unique blend of pearls and metallic powder that melts into the skin for a buildable wet finish effect these retail for $29 a piece there are four shades and a lot of people are actually saying that these are very similar to the ColourPop super shock highlighters this is the shade flexitarian it is my favorite highlight from ColourPop. it is so incredibly blinding, soft, cushiony, super wet. So I do want to kind of compare the two. So I will swatch all four, but I will have to say the packaging on this is just so freaking beautiful. I love that she really kind of gives a nod to Florida, whether she's meaning to or not, it really does look like Florida. But here we have one of the first shades right here. This is the shade Glazed Out. Now my favorite highlight from Jacqueline, ooh. My favorite highlight from Jacqueline actually is her Iced Out highlighter. That is my favorite, but this is freaking stunning whoa holy crap now i'm a very very oily person so these highlighters definitely are intimidating to me because i get super super oily but not only can these be used as a highlight but i truly feel like these type of formula can be used as an eyeshadow as well like you can definitely use these as an eyeshadow just like one swatch and it's going on freaking beautifully what the heck that is gorgeous wow and the texture is super super soft so here are all four shades. We have the shade Glazed Out on top, Star Power, Skylight, and Sun Lover. Absolutely beautiful. Now I do wanna kinda of just show just one quick comparison. So here we have the ColourPop, Fle <laughs> so here we have the ColourPop Flexterian Highlight. I'm gonna take it on, on my hand and I'm gonna swatch it. You guys can see it definitely has that like putty texture. I could stick my finger and like push it in, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it it feels almost the exact same. So here we have Flexterian. I'm going to go ahead and just swatch that. So it definitely has that bright, but Jacqueline's just a little bit more. And I'm gonna take the shade Glazed Out right next to that. So this is the shade Glazed Out. 
so you guys can see the comparison between the two. Um, looking at it on camera, they both look super shiny, super pigmented, but looking at it in person, I would say that Jaclyn's has just a little bit more oomph, a little bit more glow, a little bit more in your face, super wet. Whereas the ColourPop, it could just be because mine is actually pretty old at this point. Um, it's not as powerful, not as high shine. It's just a little bit more dulled out, but they do feel almost the exact same. Like the texture of these two feel the exact same. So that is something that's that definitely to take note of. If you guys like the ColourPop Super Shock highlighters, I think you guys would definitely like these just because of how the texture feels, how the shine feels. And I definitely can't wait to apply this to see how well it applies. But at the end of the day, they are freaking beautiful. Like, oh, just look at that. That is stunning. Okay, so next we do have the Beaming Light Highlighters. These are a lightweight sparkling liquid gel that has drops of Lumosity wherever you apply it. It's available in three shades and retails for $24 a piece. Now, a lot of the videos I've seen of people using this is pretty much just dripping it on their chest to give them that beautiful highlight, that beautiful glow. I know that you could also probably take these and mix these into your foundation if you really wanna have a Lumosity where you wanna have a nice, gleaming, dewy looking foundation. I think you can, you can definitely mix these in there. Now, someone who's super oily like myself, I can't really see myself using these as a highlight just because this would really 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 accentuate my oil I truly believe that it will but that doesn't mean that these won't be great for like beautiful highlighted body looks or like if you want to look like really really sun-kissed and glowing going out in the sun and laying out there I think this would be really nice to go for so let me swatch all four shades but I do just kind of want to take the first one and just do one drop oh, that is so pigmented so here's one I don't do the best swatches I'm sorry <laughs> Okay, so here are all three shades. The first shade is going to be called Lightning. The second shade is called High Gleams. And the third shade is called Sun Glare. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I think you can definitely like blend these out and mix them with your foundation. So it does have that like beautiful soft glow that you can just look like really bronzy, dewy, and highlighty right there. Like you see how that looked really, really nice. I definitely think this would look really nice under a foundation if you mix, mix it in there, but I think it also look good like as a beautiful body highlight. Putting it on your actual face as a highlight, I think that might just be too dewy for someone like me who has really, really oily skin. So last but not least, we do have the Sun Kissed Cream Bronzers. The packaging on this is freaking gorgeous, but these retail for $29 a piece. She does have five shades, and it says this creamy matte bronzer delivers a sun kissed glow and a soft Soft, focused finish okay so before I try out all these products I do want to talk about a certain product and that is the cream bronzers so there's only five shades in this launch and I find that to be so disappointing and I know she said in her video that she was going to bring a broader shade range next year for her core collection but I just don't feel like that's an excuse I feel like it's really sad that people of color were excluded in this launch. And I know they just came out with a statement on their Instagram that said that we would like to address the shade range of our sun kissed cream bronzers. We hear your feedback and recognize that the range is not broad enough. Our vision for Jaclyn Cosmetics is to create an inclusive, diverse brand that is a haven for all lovers of beauty. To ensure we deliver on the vision, we have partnered with the Change Cadet, a diversity a diversity, equality, and inclusion consulting firm to look at all areas of opportunity within our business to address our process going forward. We thank you for sharing your feedback with us and want to know that we are committed to doing better the Jaclyn Cosmetics team. While I appreciate them making a statement before this even launches, I feel like this shouldn't have to be a thing to begin with. I feel like when you were gonna create your com complexion products, I feel like at least if you had to narrow it down to five, you should have created a shade that was for the lightest of the light to the deepest of the deep and just had fill in later on for your core launches. I feel like it's not fair to exclude a certain group of people because you weren't sure how to create a complexion deep enough to fit every person's need. And um, I love Jacqueline. You guys know how much I love Jacqueline. And I can just only imagine this is a learning process as she continues to grow and her brand continues to flourish. But it does make me sad that this collection is not gonna be able to be used by everybody. And I just hope that next time when Jacqueline does release any more complexion products, whether it's a limited edition or not, that she's able to include everybody and not just a certain group of people. Cause that's just not fair. And I can only imagine what it's like creating this. And she said in her video that it is hard to create complexion products for deeper for deeper skin that's just something she's still trying to learn and, and figure out but i don't know i just feel like if you're going to come out with a complexion products even if it's limited edition just try to be as as inclusive as possible um i'm pretty disappointed in that i hope that next time this is a very good learning lesson for the brand that they don't make this mistake again and that everybody gets to be included in the next launch because i just think it's sad that 
you know, there's only five cream bronzers and pretty much only a certain group of people get to use these and everybody else is excluded. And I just think that's not right. So that's my opinion on it. Um, I'm happy they addressed it. And I hope that next time this just doesn't happen, that this is just a learning lesson from it. So I do want to apologize to anybody out there who is excluded from this launch because that's just not fair to you. And I just think that everyone's frustrated because it's not just being frustrated with Jaclyn Cosmetics. It's just with so many cosmetic brands out there where they release complexion products initially and it's mostly geared towards, I hate saying it, but white people and that the people of color are a second to, a second afterthought and that their their complexion products will come out later on. That's just not fair. I feel like at the end of the day, if you're gonna create a complexion product, try to be as inclusive as possible and make shades for everybody to use. Even if it is a limited edition like this and you only are able to do five shades, just try to be as inclusive where you do the lightest to light to the deepest to deep. Forget the middle part because you can bring out those later on. We could all find ways to work with it. I just don't think you should just make it just for one group and exclude everybody else. I just think that that's just not right. So that's my opinion on it. And um, yeah, I definitely think this is a great learning lesson. And um, yeah, I'm sorry that this happened. I really am. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in. We're gonna try out these products and yeah. Okay. So first things first, we are going to use these bronzers. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and swatch these because I realized I didn't swatch them. Um, I will safely say that I'm very, very, very intimidated by cream bronzer because I have, um, really oily skin. So I don't use cream bronzers in the, in the, at all. I only use, um, powder products because cream just makes me really oily, but hopefully these work out. I'm going to swatch these right here. Um, packaging on these are really really beautiful okay so here are all the swatches i'm not gonna lie like i said the shade range is very very disappointing i even feel the shade toasty honestly isn't that deep enough truly did nakey is the lightest and do like a really really deep one and then maybe you want to do like a little bit of fillers but try to be as inclusive as possible and i know it's limited edition and i know you're going to bring the rest out later but I still feel like it's kind of like no excuse, but that's just my opinion. So here are all the swatches right here. Um, I think the shade right here, which is the first shade I shot, swatch, which is shade Shunny, Sunny. I feel like this is a little bit too red. The shade Nike is way too light. The shade right here, which is gonna be the shade Sandy, and I feel like it's too gray. So I think I might have to go with the shade Beachy, which would be the shade right here. And this is the shade Toasty. So I saw Michaela on TikTok use this and she did it with a, um, makeup sponge so that's what i'm gonna do today like i said i'm not a cream bronzer so if i apply this wrong and i don't like the product that's on me um i don't think it's on the product it's just my lack of knowledge when it comes to cream bronzers because like i said i don't use cream products in the slightest because of how oily i am so i hope i could do this right so i'm just going to go ahead and just start to tap my sponge in here i'm so nervous to try this and i am just going to place it along here I'm just going to start to tap that out I would definitely say that that blended out really really beautifully now um she didn't say that these are for contour but these are actually just to give you that sun-kissed bronzy glow like you just spent your time at the beach but um for someone like me who does not like cream bronzers, I have got to say this is actually really freaking beautiful. And this is blending out super, super nicely. And I, like I said, I'm very, very intimidated when it comes to any sort of like cream products, just because I know how bad my oily skin gets. So I try to be as mindful of that as possible when using any sort of cream products, which is why I tend to stay away from them. And highlighters, I tend to stay away from like highlighters a lot just because during the summer season, when it's already hot and sweaty here in Florida, adding like a highlight to my face just would really, really accentuate that oil by the end of the day. But holy crap, I've never had a bronzer like look so freaking pretty before. This is super easy. Wow, that was really, really easy to apply. Holy crap, that was super easy to apply. I am thoroughly impressed with that, wow. Wow, I think the shade Beachy is probably going to be my perfect shade because that is a really, really beautiful, just nice bronzy glow. That is nice. Okay, so I'm going to quickly just set my face with some setting powder just because I <laughs> I need to set my face. Um, I want to see how well this mixes when I set my face just because um, this is a cream product. So I just want to make sure it sets okay. Okay, so I just set my face with powder and that still looks really freaking beautiful. 
Wow. Okay. I'm kind of impressed. I was really, really scared and intimidated by the cream bronzer, but I can safely say that I am thoroughly impressed with it. And if it holds up all day, oh, that might be my new go-to bronzer. I'm not going to lie. It might, it's really beautiful. Okay. So for a quick blush, I'm going to go in with my romance palette. This is the Affair palette. And I love taking the shade French Kiss and Amira and like dipping the two together and just mixing it and uh, placing it right on my cheek because it is a beautiful, beautiful like combination between the two. And it's been my go-to ever since I got this collection. This is like literally the only blush I've been using like nonstop. Okay, so for highlight, I want to take the shade glazed out because I feel like this is just a really, really beautiful highlighter. And I'm going to take it on the same damp sponge, but I'm going to take it on the opposite side because this type of this type of highlight, I feel like it goes, goes really well on a sponge. And I'm going to just start to bounce that in. Whoa, right there. Because look at how beautiful that is. Wow, that is a high shine highlighter. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my gosh. I feel like though kind of straight on, it kind of gives me like a gray cast. It for sure does. But if I turn to the side, then it's really freaking beautiful. All right, so on this side, I'm gonna try it with a um, a brush. I'm gonna try the brush and see how it, the, the difference is. <sighs> wow, you can clearly see the difference between the two. So this definitely gives me that wet gleam, that glow within. And this is just like that high shine, just like dabbing it on. Wow, I would definitely say that I think I liked applying it more with a sponge because I feel like it melted into my skin a little bit more than just using a brush did, but it's still really beautiful. Now I can definitely see where it's accentuating my texture right here in my face, but that's, that's not the product's fault. That's just my face's fault <laughs> grabbing texture, but that is freaking insane. Wow. I'm gonna try to like mesh it in just a little bit. Holy crap, that is beautiful. Wow, okay, so I'm actually gonna take the same thing. I'm gonna put it in my inner corner because I wanna see how beautiful it'd be for like an inner corner highlight. Oh my God, do you guys see that shine? Holy crap. Wow. Okay, for lips, I'm actually gonna go in with the clear one because I feel like the crystal drip one because I feel like this would be really pretty mixed on top of my neutral lip that I have going on right now. Okay, so I now I want to try this uh, highlight out like everybody else does on their chest area. So I'm going to go in with the shade um, High Gleams. And I'm going to plate that on my chest and we're going to see how pretty it looks. Let me see how nicely like this blends out. Um, I'm going to take my F12 brush and I'm going to start to just rub this in i look like i just like worked out and i'm starting to get that like nice sweaty glow on the chest that just shows that i had like a really good like yoga section or like pure bar or pilates like this is like the type of glow that i'm getting right now but holy crap it is freaking stunning all right guys so this is everything so what are my thoughts on this collection Guys, I'm not going to lie. This is such a beautiful collection to come out right now during the hot girl summer season. Like I feel very bronzy. I feel very glowy. I feel very beautiful. So even though this is not my PR kit, I can take a step back and tell you guys what I would get as a consumer. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I would definitely get these putty highlighters. I think they're absolutely beautiful will i pick up all four shades probably not i feel like the shade that i really want to get is the shade glazed out it's what i'm wearing on my face right now and i just love when i turn you guys can see that beautiful glow that gleam that wet from within look that that to me is freaking beautiful i feel like if i was sitting at the pool or the beach and i would turn my face like in the summer to hit my face you guys would see that shine i'd be like ah i look like a goddess stepping out of water like that's how i feel right now very beautiful i love the formula i love how it feels it's very smooth silky buttery it's like has that putty feeling it's just like the ColourPop super shock highlighters but the reason why i think i prefer this one just a little bit more is because it has more of that shine compared to the ColourPop one ColourPop is beautiful i think this one definitely has a little bit more pigment more of a high shine which is something i would look for if i'm trying to get that nice glow from within look that wet dewy look like this is something i would gravitate to a lot more than the ColourPop one just because this one is just super creamy and super buttery and just feels amazing and looks beautiful so i definitely would be picking up this shade right here 
Now when it comes to lip oils, I definitely think this is a very, very comfortable lip oil. It's very smooth, it glided on beautifully. It doesn't have a smell to it, so if you guys are sensitive to smell, that's something that, that could be really good for you. But will it last all day? I'm not entirely sure. A lot of it lip oils don't, but I love how hydrating this is on my lip. And I love the high shine. It really gives off a gloss formula, so I really do appreciate that. I probably won't pick up all four shades just because I like to have a very like neutral lip. And if I'm doing a lip gloss, I try to, to stay a little bit more towards what I'm wearing on my lips because if it's like a color like this, I don't know if it's gonna change how my lips look, but in, you never know. These are a great price for what they are. I thoroughly enjoy it. I just, I think it's great and I'm definitely gonna probably be picking up this one for sure. As for the liquid highlighters, as beautiful as this is on my chest, I'm not gonna pick these up only because I would have no purpose for it. I wouldn't mix it into my foundation because I'm really oily and I don't wanna have that like really super like dewy look because trust me, my oil will do it for me in about an hour, but I just wouldn't have any use for these whatsoever. As beautiful as it is on my chest, I love how it looks. I just know that it would just sit there and never get used. So I just know I personally wouldn't get a use out of these. They're beautiful and if you're looking for that, if you're looking to put this mix into your foundation or to put on your body, I think you'd really enjoy this. But for me personally, this is something I'm gonna pass on because it's just something that I would never use. As for the cream bronzers, while I will say the shade range is definitely not there, I really, really, really do appreciate the formula. The formula is beautiful. It went on so smoothly and it blended out so nicely. And for someone like myself, who literally has no knowledge in cream bronzers whatsoever, because I'm very intimidated by them, if I could sit here and say that I really do enjoy the formula and this is something that I personally am going to pick up myself, I'm only gonna pick up the shade Beachy. That's the only one that I need. I can safely say that this is a beautiful formula. The way that it just blended out by using a damp sponge, it just blended out so nice. It's like I just laid it down and it did all the work for me. And that is something that I appreciate so much because of how scared I was to use this. I, this made it so easy. This was so easy. Is this how it's always supposed to be? Is it always supposed to be this easy? I don't know. I just thought it was a really great formula. I loved how it just blended in so effortlessly. It looked so beautiful. It did not mess up my foundation. Setting setting powder on top of that made it still look really beautiful and incredible. I didn't feel like it took, I didn't feel like it lifted. I didn't feel like it blended it away. I just feel like it set down beautifully into my skin. I feel like it melted beautifully into my foundation and I love how it looks. A hundred percent love how it looks. So I will be picking up this because truly, I'm kind of impressed and I'm really like, wow. It's like my second time using a cream bronzer and I think it's so pretty. It looks so smooth. I feel like my skin just ate it up and it just looks so smooth and I don't look really powdery at all. I just love how it looks. So yeah, this is definitely a very, very gorgeous collection. I, I love it. I do. I really do. Like Jaclyn Cosmetics is just on a roll. They are on fire. They are releasing products pretty much every single month. And she's not just coming out with one product. She's releasing a whole bunch of products at one time. And I think it's really cool because like she's expanding at such a fast rate and at such a fast pace. And I'm so freaking proud of Jaclyn Hill and Jaclyn Cosmetics as a whole. And I do appreciate how they quickly addressed the cream bronzer range, how they do want to like take in everybody's feedback and try to improve it for the next time. And hopefully they don't make that same mistake again. I really do hope that they don't because um, that was very sad and disappointing, but I do like how they are trying to you know, take care of the situation and not like run from it. They are trying to address it. So I do appreciate that. But um, wow, I have to say this is a very beautiful collection. And I just still, I'm just so in shock that like I'm looking at like a freaking PR box. Like what? Like that is insane. This will probably, I'll probably never ever be on Jacqueline's PR list. And I'm completely okay with that. But I just really appreciate that Paige allowed me to borrow this for this video so I can tell you guys what I personally will or will not get from this collection because even though it launches tomorrow, I, I launch day always makes me so freaking nervous because I'm always like, ah, I hate launch day with such a passion. I get such bad anxiety. I always had bad dreams about it beforehand, but this really like makes it easier for me to make my decision on what I will or not get. So I cannot thank you Paige enough for, for being so kind to let me borrow this. Uh, Jacqueline, you did another beautiful collection. This is truly stunning. It really is. And I hope that everybody's able to get their hands on it. Like, like I said, it's going to release tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's also going to be available at the Morphe website at the end of the month. This will not be inside Ulta, but I'm pretty sure this does very, very, very well. She'll probably bring back not only just the cream bronzers, but other products from this launch as well as a core edition later on. So yeah, this is a very beautiful collection. 
I love it and I cannot wait to get my hands on this personally myself because this is fantastic. So congratulations, Jacqueline. You killed it again with another beautiful launch and yeah, I'm so excited. This is so insane. And I really just want to go outside and I just want to recreate this look because this is just stunning yeah guys that is it for today's video guys if you guys like this video please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because i do post three to four mostly five times a week make sure you guys head over to my other channel it's r for the life where you guys get to see my cool wonderful adventures my amazing husband Corey. a huge huge thank you to all these beautiful patreon members that you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribe you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you i'll see you guys in the very next video bye but jacqueline i'm trying really hard to recreate your photo and one i can't keep my eyes open um long enough because the fuck and two um <laughs> all the photos are taking i feel like i look like i'm dead so, um, needless to say, I, um, I love your collection, but I don't think I can take photos that would do it justice. I'm trying, but they look really bad. If NASA can like find you just by looking at like, just seeing that light. So next we do have these brand new highlighters. These are going to be like her plus. I feel like this has just a little bit more of a shade. I feel like this one has a little bit more of a, I feel like which will be, which will be two, eight. Now, these are Reflective Light Putty Highlighter at... Hey guys! <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't know why. Hey guys! What's up? Nope. I have always been a gloss bis. My I've always been a, a sun where to glint, glint off with, and the sun were to like to cap... Oh, one. <laughs> it looks so pale. And these do retail... Now, this is a very, very limited... July 11th at 11 p.m.